Hello Aquarius, this is going to be a reading to find out who is your future spouse. So if you are an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this can be in sidereal or tropical astrology, wherever you resonate. We're going to look and see more about your future spouse, okay? If you're already married, then this could be telling you a little bit about how your marriage is going to go you know in the future wow so you guys have the two of cups the in love card so you're going to be in love with your person we also have reconciliation at the bottom of the deck so that's a pretty strong indicator that some of you may already know this person in the 3d okay show me aquarius's future spouse please let's see show me aquarius future spouse hmm. We have healer of the ages so some of you guys are going to wind up with uh, a twin flame or a soulmate okay um you might even wind up creating with this person like especially if you're an artist and musician okay this could be someone who's already in the spotlight as a rapper musician you might be as well yep see we've got this magician here again could be an aries virgo gemini this is definitely a twin flame you guys are going to marry your twin flame those who are watching this i don't really and you guys know i'm not a big twin flame person but look it's here okay high priestess magician i was getting that from the beginning the two of cups um this person may have to work on themselves i'm not going to say that they're perfect when you meet them there might be some time where you two are separate from each other um but i do see like you guys coming together there's a joint mission here like you meant your two you two are meant to create something together whether this is a body of work could be art a business children a family right so so far i'm getting heavy pisces cancer aries virgo and gemini we also have leo with archangel michael at the bottom of the deck okay so let's see more about aquarius's future spouse who is aquarius's future spouse if you would like to get a personal reading make sure you check out the link in the description box okay eight of swords in reverse yeah you guys probably already know this person it's not going to be easy to get in a relationship with this person the ten of wands the ace of cups lots of resistance on this person's part they could even be single when you meet them um but i'm getting like they're resistant to love this could even be the nature of this person's job they might be doing something where uh they want to live a single life like this person might be really one of those people who like really enjoy being single because like i can focus on myself and whatever like they're not really going to try to let this love come through at first i really get that so if you are in separation with somebody right now um or you know you feel like you're headed towards a split with somebody and you think that this is your person um, just know that you're not crazy and it's not going to be forever. The temporary, the separation is temporary. It's really to allow this person to open up their heart chakra because I feel like that's what the issue is, is this person has a closed heart chakra. The Ace of Cups here in the uh, influence is, is telling me that there is love here. Your person is very much in love with you, just like you're in love with them. It's kind of like maybe an instant attraction, which I've experienced that myself. I also have seen it. Okay. I saw one of my friends, we were in seventh grade and I always tell this story. There was a new boy. He walked in and she's like, who is that? We were in seventh grade. Okay. And they are married with three children to this day. <laughs> They've been together since she looked at him and said, who is that? Okay. She knew as a, what we were, what? 12 <laughs> 12 and she came up to him and he's you know she she said his last name because she thought maybe you know he knew some of her family and he's like no that's not my last name you need, it's this way so he told her how to say his name properly and whole time that's her last name now this was like their first conversation so i believe in love at first sight i'm sorry for people who don't but i've seen it happen many times honestly my son's father was like that with me like this motherfucker knew from the beginning he knew before I did. Okay, a lot of times these men do be knowing before you do. Um, the the masculine be seen and like they're aloof, but they do know. So I feel like your person is kind of example. You know, they're they're showing me that they felt the same way as you do, and they feel the same way as you do, but they're not emotionally available. Honestly, mentally, with the Ace of Swords in Reverse, they're they're willing to honestly embrace the connection, and I feel it's because you two have a really good mental connection, Aquarius. Like you two have really good conversations. This person might even be the same sign as you, okay? Just saying, but, or they could be a Capricorn. But I feel like, uh, yeah, there's a good mental connection here, but feelings-wise, this person is going to have to create room to allow you in, okay? So let's get some clarifiers and see if we can get more about this. Person could be a Libra. Yep, they're closed off. They're so closed off. Your person needs Reiki, you guys. 
suggest some reiki for this person heart chakra yes moon ace of cups they hide their emotions from the very beginning this person could be a cancer for sure the four of cups and let me get one more on that seven of swords in reverse okay so your person's gonna avoid this relationship for a while and it and it will there will be a reconciliation with this person that's who that's how you're gonna know who this who this person is i also feel like your marriage is gonna your wedding is going to be um small it's not going to be a huge wedding i don't really feel like this person likes over displays of affection this person is definitely giving me an avoidant personality type so i don't even think they would be comfortable with something extravagant like that so i definitely feel like you two will have something pretty intimate um a small gathering with a you know a few of your guys' good friends and family but you will have the biggest issue you will have with your spouse is just getting them to open up okay they do very much love you though and they're and you're gonna you're gonna know that because this person's gonna marry you i don't even think you're gonna believe when this person you're gonna be like what are we really getting married and you're like yeah we're getting married this person's gonna marry you justice moon here um they might have been actually a little bit worried about their feelings, but that's what happens when you meet a divine counterpart. They are meant to trigger you. So you've triggered this person's heart space. You triggered a healing in this person. They might even get into Reiki or they might even get into healing themselves in some way. You could be uh, awakening them to their spirituality as well with the high priestess here or vice versa. You both could be sending each other into a... Um, sending each other into a, a, a spiritual awakening, right? So the, I actually like this energy. It doesn't talk about a perfect love story, um, but it does say that, you know, things will turn out really well. And I see you guys really, really being in love with each other. Like there's not going to be any secrets. This person's not going to feel the need to keep anything from you because they're like, if I can give you my heart, if I can marry you, I can tell you anything. You're go you two are going to be like best friends. As I feel like you guys might be similar signs, maybe Pisces or something like born around the same time or something. But um, either way, like you guys are going to be best friends. All right, there's not going to be anything this person hides other than their emotions. You are going to probably have to kind of get to know them emotionally, all right, and, and know when they're feeling this and feeling that, unfortunately. But communication-wise, you guys are going to be telepathically connected and um, very open about how you feel about things and those types of stuff, you know, those types of things. So I hope that this helps, Aquarius. Thank you so much. Let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to do something like this. Um, comment. Please like the video and share because other Aquarians can watch this. It's timeless, all right? I'll talk to you all later. Bye.